Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for always coming back. I know it's been a while, but I have no excuses, so I'm not gonna say anything about it. So today it's gonna be a quick, easy, helpful video, especially for beginners. I just wanted to share some of my most favorite base, you know, face makeup products that are super, super affordable. So if you are as I said, a beginner, then this is all you need. If you are somebody who's starting to build their basic makeup kit that is also super affordable, then please keep watching. So the first thing that you need to use regardless of your skin type is a moisturizer. Also, if you're going out in the daytime, don't forget SPF. But today I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Aqua Gel thingy. Also, always make sure your hands are clean and not dirty. So if you just made fish curry, then please wash your hands before doing this. Make sure to moisturize under your eyes because often that's where you apply, you know, most number of products. You'll have the concealer, a little bit of foundation and a powder. So that area can get a little crusty. So do it. Next, if you want, you can apply a primer. But honestly, I don't think Everyone needs a primer and especially if you are a beginner, just, you know, get into the routine of it and then start adding products into your routine. Now I'm going to be applying my concealer and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind. Honestly, I feel like this product is super underrated. If you're just starting out and planning to buy your first concealer, then I think this is a good option. Also, the LA Girl Pro Conceal is a good option, but among the two of these, if I had to choose, I would choose the Maybelline one. And when buying a concealer, go for a shade that is just one shade or maybe maximum two shades lighter than your skin tone. Don't, don't go too light. That's just not going to look good at all. And you want to concentrate the product wherever you feel like your skin is not matching with the rest of your skin. So for me, it's definitely in my inner corners where it is a little reddish and purplish a little bit on my eyelids and a little bit around my mouth where I do have some discoloration Next you need a wet, not wet, damp. Now you need a damp beauty sponge. It doesn't have to be the expensive, you know, beauty blender brand. It can be anything. There are a lot of brands that make beauty sponges now. So just any is fine. Just make sure it's damp and not like soaking wet. Make sure not to drag the concealer around your eyes. It's not good for your skin. And also the makeup is gonna look a little funny. So just do this. Moving on to foundation, this is my favorite drugstore foundation. Those of you who've been here since the beginning and know which one this is. So the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation is one of my absolute favorites, not just from the drugstore but overall. So if you're looking for a foundation that is going to give you full coverage and you don't want to break the band, then please buy this one. The quality is super good. I love it. And if you want, you can just, you know, tone it down a little bit, maybe add it into your moisturizer and it's going to look like the most beautiful tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. And honestly, a little bit goes a long way. And first, I'm just going to dot it all over my face. And don't forget your neck. And then again, just blend it away. And as I have mentioned before, and as I have mentioned before in so many of my previous videos, make sure to bring a mirror really close to your face and look for any patches or streaks and just smooth them over with the blender. Now, if you're just starting off with makeup, I think that you need a blush more than a contour or a highlighter. And cream blushes are a lot easier to apply and a lot more forgiving. So the next product is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Cream Blush in the shade Floral Majority. Now, blush placement is, you know, to each its own, but this is the way I like to do it. And this is what I think flatters my face the most. So I work on one side at a time. I don't want the other side to like settle down and then become patchy. So I'm just gonna start by applying it to the apples of my cheek and just going upwards. I hope you can see that. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and just blend it in. So more than rubbing, which will basically make you remove the blush from there and you'll have spots where there's no product. Just wanna pat it in. And then if I feel like I need a little bit more, I'll just keep adding. Now 
I am a little blush obsessed as you can see so if you don't want to go this crazy you absolutely don't have to now whatever is left on my hands I'll just you know pop it on my nose and a little bit on my chin now the final thing to do is to just set our entire face with a powder and I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Stay Matte powder again I feel like this product is super underrated it's super light and it absolutely makes your face matte and it's you know going to stay that way for a long long time and you can absolutely use the same damn beauty blender for the powder as well so I'm just gonna go in and start by setting my under eyes and then you just need to lightly set the rest of your face I'll go very lightly over the blush because I don't want it to hide that blush. I also like to take the powder on the flat side of this beauty sponge and just chisel out my cheekbone a little bit. It's not going to make much of a difference but since we have not used any bronzer or contour powder, this is just going to, you know, just chisel up your face a little bit. And just smooth it over a little bit that was the super affordable basic face makeup now just to finish everything up I'm just gonna be using this wet n wild eyeshadow for I'm gonna be taking this brown shade and lining my lower lash line and just applying a little bit onto my crease as well Finishing off my eye makeup by just curling my lashes. You can use any eyelash curler that you have. It doesn't have to be a branded one as long as it curls your eyelashes. Finally, just finishing off with some lipstick and I'm going to be using the Lakme 9 to 5 in the shade Nude Touch. This was included in my favorite pink nude lipsticks video. I hope you have watched it. If you haven't, I will link it up. Please do watch. So that is it you guys, I hope you guys liked all the products that I shared. These are actually the products that I swear by. So if you're looking to, you know, build up your makeup kit, then I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!